And uh, we have the next talk is coming from ZTE, right? And uh, it's uh, Chen Fang. Uh, he received his PhD degree from the Southeast University, China, and uh, he has been involved in research on nonlinear optical effects, uh, design of fiber communication system, and radio over fiber technology during 2013 to 2018. And currently, he's engaged in a postdoctoral work jointly in Southeast University and ZTE Corporation, and mostly doing research on 6G technology. <laughs> Great. So, go ahead. Okay. Thank you for introduction. I'm honored to address you on this occasion. The topic is uh, computational holographic radio and the enabling te technology for 6G. The outline of my talk is arranged as follows. The first one, introduction. Second one, concept of computational holographic radio, holo radio. The, the third one, key enabling technology of holo radio. The final, final, the final one, summary challenges and open problems. Well, let's move to the first part, introduction. Some problems faced, faced by 5G are this. The first one, 5G is still faced with unprecedented challenges in many aspects, such as open from the hall, converged system architecture of computing and communication, as well as new breakthrough technologies from 4G. Uh, operators have attempted to build an open PBUR interface, but from CPRI to eCPRI, it seems to be far from this goal. The third one, 5G continues the technology path of the previous mobile communication and is still the extension of 4G, resulting beginning to touch the ceiling of performances. Uh, next, I will talk about the... Uh, so, we think 6G needs new series and paradigms, as well as innovative and breakthrough technologies, such as Resource re management transforms from open loop to full closed loop. Interference cancellation transforms into interference exploitation from software defined system to photonic defined system. Uh, next, I will talk about the photonic defined radio technology as a new paradigm and a disruptive technology. Photon photonic defined radio converging integrated coherent optics, integrated microwave photonic and the photonic ADC DAC DSP was proposed and expected to dominate the designs of future radio and sensing systems. Referred to digital radio for 2G and the software defined radio for 4G, uh, we think a photonic defined radio will be the fundamental enabling and the supportive technology of 6G. Uh, for beyond 6G, it will be quantum radio. Uh, the detailed description of photonic de or defined radio referred to our uh, article published in 2018. Uh, next, I will talk about the uh, differences between interference exploitation and the interference cancellation. Interference exploitation has achieved the gains by exploiting interference in wireless networks through large scale cooperation between distributed transceivers and by enabling high spatial multiplexing gain via multi user transmission. These figures show the differences between them. For interference cancellation, the best SNR appears in the base station. YUEs have, have a poor SNR. Uh, which needs need to uh, no transmission rate. But for interference exploitation, the best SNR appears in the UEs. So it can achieve a much higher transmission rate than interference cancellation. Uh, nowadays, I tomography and uh, spatial spatial holography show potentials in interference exploitation by force based spatial coordination. These two figures uh, show, the diff show the architecture of I tomography and uh, spatial spatial holography respectively. For IF tomography, uh, the IF signals received by the antenna array are converted into optical frequency by electro optical modulator, then transmitted to the optical FFT processor for processing, uh, and uh, then detected by photo detector to electrical signals. Finally, the signal, uh, electrical signals are processed by computer to form the phase frequency, frequency space. Uh, for special spatial holography, the IF signals are also converted into optical frequency by electro optical modulator, then transmitted to the, to the crystal processor for recording, reading, and processing. And, and uh, opti optic and optical electro conversion is carried out by photo detectors, and uh, analog to digital conversion is realized by ADC. Uh, finally, the IF mapping is achieved by the computer. 
However, this technology seems to focus on uplink signal processing, such as imaging and RF mapping. Therefore, in this presentation, systematic concepts of spatial wave field synthesis and computational holography radio are proposed. Computational holography radio converts spatial spatial holography for uplink and the spatial wave field synthesis for downlink may not only promote the convergence of com communication and imaging, enhance a spatial multiplacing game, but also probably become a candidate of neighbor technology of 6G. Uh, next, let's move to the second part, concept of computational holography radio. Holo radio. Computational, computational holography radio is built on photonics defined radio platform. The photonics front end or photonic antenna array performs the transmission, reception, and, and the conversion of optical or RF signals. The photonic engine realizes signal generation and processing in the optical domain, such as optical FFT. The function of spectral computing are that they act as signal simulator, channel simulator, wave field synthesis module, and the deep cognitive radio engine. The radio AI engine is introduced to assist the IF identification. This figure shows the hardware architecture of computational holographic radio. In uplink, the function of spatial spatial holography converts the RF signals transmitted by UEs from each antenna element to the optical frequency through an natural optical modulator coupled antenna array. Then the optical signal outputs are aggregated into an optical FFT processor. Finally, the optical signals processed by holographic interference are converted by a two-dimensional addressable photo detector to electrical signals. The photonic engine realizes signal generation and the processing in the optical domain. At this time, Signals from different UEs have been accurately separated, and uh, the whole processing is similar to a real-time three-dimensional light field imaging in RF domain. Moreover, a limit, limited RF aperture has been transformed into a near-infinite optical aperture, which enables RF signals to be precoded and uh, multiplexed in a nearly continuous spatial spectrum, thus achieving extremely high data throughput and multiplexing gain. At the same time, a 3D constellation of UEs in high phase frequency space can be obtained through spatial spectral holography, providing precise feedback for spatial wave field synthesis in the downlink. This figure shows the 3D constellation of UEs in high phase frequency space. Uh, next uh, is uh, downlink. In downlink, spatial wave field synthesis accurately controls multiple modules, including signal simulator, channel simulator, and wave field synthesis module based on the 3D constellation of phase frequency space or UEs built up by the spatial spectral holography. The complex and uh, accurate distribution of electromagnetic field in target space is realized by a series of PD coupled antenna arrays controlled by signal simulator, channel simulator, and wave field synthesis module to transmit specific IF signals. The entire process is similar to a real-time holographic night field projection in IF domain. This figure shows the working principle of computational holography radio. Uh, next, let's move to the third, third part, key enabling technology of holo, holo radio. In order to achieve the above uh, spatial spatial holography and the spatial wave field synthesis, the antenna array has a flexible transmission aperture. That is, the transmission aperture that can radiate the distribution of hol hol holographic IF signals. To cope with this uh, challenge, the uh, photodiode coupled antenna array is required, in which the current sources of the excited coupled dipole elements are high power unit traveling carrier photodiodes, short for UDCPT. This figure shows the UCPD coupled with antenna array. Uh, next, uh, next, let's move to the final part. Uh, summary challenges and open problems. Summaries, we think 6G needs new series and uh, paradigms as well as innovative breakthrough technologies. As a new paradigm and a disruptive technology, photonics defined radio will be the fundamental enabling and supportive technology of 6G. 6G regards interference as a useful resource for developing efficient, energy efficient and uh, secure communication systems. The most potential and highest level of interference exploiting is the technology of computational holography radio. Holography radio realizes the precise control of the entire space and the full closed loop of the electromagnetic field through spatial spectral holography and spatial wave field synthesis, thus greatly improving the spectrum efficiency and the network capacity and uh, even realizing the integration of imaging and uh, wireless communication. Uh, challenges and op open problems. Uh, uh, lack of models of computational holography radio. Uh, challenges of hardware design and physical nature implementations. Sp spectral efficiency, network capacity, and the performance analysis of holographic radio. 
iPhone hologram acquisition, recording, and processing methods and uh, techniques, large scale spatial wave field synthesis, modulation, and uh, manipulation, rapid reconstruction of phase frequency space or distributed UEs, uh, digital optical signal processing, and high performance optical computing technologies. That's all. Thank you. Very quick question. Um, so, if you actually see this in practice, when you when it becomes part of the 6G radio or a terminal, is the form factor really small enough for these holo, holo radio to fit in the handset? I don't quite understand what you say. Can you put it in your phone? The radio. Can you, can you fit it here? The radio, holographic radio. Can you put it here? Put it now. Inside. Yes, no. 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 <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I will continue. Thank you very much. I will continue with the final talk. <laughs> no worries. <laughs>